Hello guys and welcome to Steambirds. So here's my personal my current personal best for the axe. Um as a kickoff to my new season, I John am going to be doing a whole season demonstrating each of the aircraft for Steambird survival. And their functions, I'm gonna give what do they come with, like you know, what are some advantages, how do you strategically play with them, and whatnot. So I will be doing them in the order, you know, first aircraft to last, but not like of the. There's like two sets. <laughs> the ones they can they can acquire with the with the copper they earn in the game, and then there's ones they have to spend actual money to get you know the game currency to the uh, special currency to buy, like a good old Facebook game. So I'll not be playing any one of those about the bunny. Unfortunately, but I will be doing the ones that you can earn for free. So, like I said, this is my current personal best. I got 111,000 copper in 11 minutes and 45 seconds. And I found that, like, really cool, because I, I, had it on the normal on the normal website like you can see here where I didn't take off take off the script and then put it on like uh, like what I'll be doing for the series I'll be taking just that Java like they call it object in HTML and then just expanding it so you don't have to look at the tiny little arrows and try to focus your eyes on little teeny pixels I have it a lot bigger so that they're more enjoyable for so the videos are more enjoyable for YouTube and the small windows that are on YouTube. So, assuming that I don't get like some 200k streak or something, totally wipe this out. This is going to be, this is pretty much going to be my first episode. So, I'm going to be talking about the, well, the axe as you can see here. Um, the axe. Comes with a 180 degree firing angle. Um, it's not too fast. It's not like a machine gunner, but you can see the rate of fire right here. But it can go very slow, or it can go slow. <laughs> but it's also very powerful. It has a very powerful gun, and you can use these in combination to your advantage. Like if you have three or four aircraft all coming at you in one direction, or you know. Just adding a basic 180 degree panning, you know, area. You can slow down your aircraft just like that, and you can get them. You can, you know, single them out, get them all down before they come within their fire range and before they lay one shot on you. Now, if you saw right there, I pretty much just swept right over the poison. I've got really good at that. I've I've played this enough to know, I'm not sure if it's exclusively the axe, it probably is with all aircraft, but I'm pretty, I got a pretty good idea of where my aircraft can touch the poison without touching it, if that makes sense. Where I can touch, like just graze the poison without actually being inflicted with the um, gun jam and the severe damage. Um, it's just something I acquired over a little bit of practice. It's a good demonstration of what I talked about a little bit ago. Oh, maybe not really. But I got a lot of aircraft that are coming towards me, so I slow down so I can blow them at once. So something, some good things to note, because the air, because this is not like the never slow, where you absolutely cannot get slow, you can, if you're being hit, pounded on by all directions by a ton of aircraft and you know you're really stuck but you happen to have um, the bomb and a few shields what you can do is you can just park it pretty much in midair with the how slow it can go on minimum speed throw down the bombs and then shield your way out until until the aircraft the enemy aircraft naturally swarm into you and just <laughs> seal their fate with the bombs that were dropped bombs have an outrageous radius for damage and it's also very severe damage um, it's like way bigger than you think 
just by looking at it. And oftentimes the aircraft will not be programmed to turn away on a dime. If you throw down a bomb, they'll go right for it, pretty much. And you can get plenty of aircraft down in one move that way. Actually, the first move is really just putting down the bombs, the second one's where the bombs will blow up, and the third one is where the bombs reach the maximum damage radius. So in three moves, you can down a ton of aircraft with with that in the right situations. So ouch. Very most important power up like I just used there, the heal. I was lucky to get three. Um, one time I got like five or six. Yeah, five at the beginning of the game. It's just like one, two, three, four, five. Sweet, I gotta record this. But then I failed. I only got like like 20, 20, 25,000 copper because I did something really lame. I wasn't too focused. But I was like, darn, I could have had five times the length of that if I was being smart. But no, I didn't. So the heal power-ups, they seem to be very potent at the beginning of the game, but they don't seem to occur at all at the end, like after the first 10 waves. You're lucky if you if you're lucky if you find one after the tenth wave because I think the game pretty much has a program to have a little to no chance of finding a heal after wave ten. Yeah, citation needed. You can put a little. You're wrong, John. You're, you're so wrong there, or whatever. But I think that the game doesn't want to give you heals when you're um, already in the middle of the game. There's a bug exploit I should talk about right now that I forgot to do a few times here, but you see my guns are jammed because I finally did hit a poison and it's going to last for three turns and I'm not going to be able to shoot. But what the missiles do is they also jam your gun, but only for one turn. So as bug exploit, if, I'm, if I've driven right through a poison and I really need to fire, I can't spend the three times, you know, fair and square, I'll go and I'll throw off a missile, because on the next turn then my guns will be free, instead of having to wait two more turns before I can shoot again. When in doubt, shield right here. I'm being attacked by f three people, yeah, people, aircraft, and well I didn't handle it too well here, but I had lots of shields stacked up, so stocked up, so I used them. Now, the outer base is OP beyond belief, but, I mean, you can get probably 700k with that, but in my opinion, the Axe is the best aircraft because the outer base comes when you've basically beaten the game. You got two million, alright, we'll give you this, have fun. You've won the game. Now you get the most OP thing, known man. <laughs> or aircraft in this game. So, the outer base is just kind of, it gets boring. You're just like, there's power-ups everywhere, I've killed everyone. You know, I've got a whole bunch of heals. This can go on forever, and it's not too much fun. But I will, I will do it, and I'll try to get a decent score. Um, but because it'll take probably like 15 to 30 minutes, I'll time lapse it. For it. I'll time lapse it for you guys, so you don't go oh, skip, skip, skip. So it's a little more enjoyable, and you'll feel more compelled to watch the whole video through. Look at that! I made a big mistake there, but I was able to get out of it lucky. Because my map wasn't zoomed out like it will be in future episodes, um, I was not. I ran right into the armada right there, and I was like, "Oh, sorry, I'm gonna, I gotta go." Turn around that dime and left. <laughs> because if I'd gone one more turn, especially without a shield, I'd been dead. So, like I said, in future episodes, I will have the game, you know, full screen, and I'll have myself zoomed out a lot more. It's not true full screen; it's just a lot bigger. But I'll have myself zoomed out a lot more, and you'll see. There I go, and I'll just, you know, I'll flick zoom out as far as I can or close to it. Just monitor where all the aircraft are going, look at their smoke trails to find out, you know, where they've been for the last turn. 
and then, you know, think, like, plot out where am I gonna go to be safe. And I'll be, um, and that will look much nicer than this, because, yeah, looking at those little teeny, teeny little dots there kind of gets annoying. I know for myself that's very annoying. I'm getting very close to the end here. I've got 96k. Um, and I... I make a very stupid move at the very end. It's like... I, it could have been funnier. <laughs> I go and I see, I look around, huh, he's attacking me, he's attacking me, I better shield out of this. No, you know, I'm just gonna like stick around until I die. I go, I forget to put on the shield or something, and then I get hit. So right here is what it happens. I go, well, park it right here, and look at that, and I'm down. So, that's just wrong. <laughs> I could have done a lot better. But, <laughs> oh well. Well, hope you enjoyed the video. That's my current best. And all the other scores are like 50k or better. With second place being 91k. Um, but I'll try to see if I can beat it in the very near future. So, please stay, please stay tuned for the rest of the season. And thank you for watching.